Kevin, what is the latest? No word yet on how the administration will respond to that Wall Street Journal report regarding German auto, uh, automakers. We should note that Peter Navarro is saying earlier this morning uh, that he was happy with that proposal, though. Meanwhile, the European Union triggering the first phase of retaliation against the U.S. over the metal import tariffs. We should note that the European Commission giving final approval of a 25 percent duty on $3.2 billion worth of European imports, and this ranges on products, Jonathan, ranging from Harley Davidson motorcycles to Levi jeans, as well as bourbon whiskey. All of this comes, of course, as the ongoing fight in Europe continues to escalate, while the fight with China continues to escalate as well. President Trump later today going to be meeting with a series of Republican senators at the White House to discuss ZTE. The president has proposed withdrawing sanctions as well as trade restrictions against the Chinese telecom giant. Shares of ZTE plummeting more than 20 percent yesterday after the Senate passed a bill that would restrict the president's ability to do that. That, but they bounced back upon hearing that the president is expected at 1130 this morning to pressure those Republicans to change their mind. We should also note that while the Senate looks to restrict what the president's doing on ZTE, no such legislation exists in the House.